Hi folks, here's Azinis for today with me, Vanessa. Volcano eruption in the Philippines spewed ashes into sky. According to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, a volcano south of the Philippines capital spewed massive clouds of ash. Fivolks raised Mount Bulusan under alert level 1 and restricted residents from entering a 4-kilometer permanent danger zone around the volcano. Bulusan last erupted in December 2016 after it had a phreatic eruption shooting a plum of ash about 2 kilometers high. Bulusan is located around 600 kilometers southeast of Manila and is considered one of the active volcanoes in the country. China launches three astronauts to a space station on St. Zhou 14 spacecraft. China launches a spacecraft carrying three astronauts to the Chinese space station due to be completed by the end of the year as construction entered a pivotal stage. A live broadcast by state television shows a long march 2F rocket transporting the Senjou 14 or divine vessel in Chinese blasted off from Jichuan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China at 10.44 a.m. Construction of the space station began last year with the launch of the first and largest of its three modules, Tianhe, the living quarters of visiting astronauts. The modules Wen Tian and Meng Tian are to be launched in July and October, respectively, docking with Tianhe to form the T-shaped structure. Shenzhou 14 Mission Commander Cheng Don 43 and teammates Liu Yang 43 and Chai Xu Ze 46, all from China's second cohort of astronauts, will live and work on the space station for six months before returning to Earth in December with the arrival of the Shenzhou 15 crew. Thailand considering pros and cons as cannabis is legalized for the first time. the consumption smoking and purchasing of cannabis will no longer be illegal in Thailand. Last week, it's welcome news for cannabis advocates like Chokwan Kitty Chopaka, who has been selling authorized cannabis-infused gummy candies for years at her Bangkok shop. Thailand has a tradition of using marijuana to relieve pain and fatigue, along with the use of the plant in cuisine. In 2018, the country became the first in Southeast Asia to legalize marijuana for medical use and research. Senior health official Paisan Dangum says Thailand can also grow cannabis at home by registering their plants with the Thai Food and Drug Administration through the Plog Ganja or Grow Ganja app. Nearly 100,000 have registered. The government is also planning to give away 1 million cannabis plants to promote access, especially among farmers starting with 1,000 plants at a convention. While Thailand has made the private consumption of cannabis legal, recreational usage still falls into a grey area. Publicly smoking cannabis is prohibited with punishment of three months in prison or a fine up to 25,000 baht. The health ministry says it has approved 1,181 products, including cosmetics and food containing hemp and cannabis extracts, and expects the hemp industry to reach a value of 50 billion baht by 2026. Japan says missile launched by North Korea is intolerable. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida says North Korea's missile launches earlier in the day cannot be tolerated. North Korea fired eight short-range ballistic missiles towards the sea of its, its coast, likely its largest single test a day, after South Korea and United States ended joint military drills. Kishida tells reporters that the North Korea's actions cannot be tolerated. According to the Japan's defense ministry, at least one missile had a variable trajectory, which indicated it could maneuver to evade missile defenses. In recent weeks, North Korea has test-fired a range of missiles, including its largest intercontinental ballistic missile. North Korea's last tests were on May 25, when it launched three missiles after United States President Joe Biden ended an Asia trip where he agreed to new measures to deter the nuclear-armed state. 
South Korea and United States launches missiles in response to North missile test. A South Korea Defense Ministry official says South Korea and United States fire eight surface-to-surface -surface missiles off South Korea's east coast after North Korea launched a barrage of short-range ballistic missiles the day before. The action is a demonstration of the capability and readiness to carry out precision strike against the source of North Korea's missile launches or the command and support centers. South Korea's Yonhap News Agency cited the South Korean military as saying. Yonhap reported the militaries of South Korea and the United States fired eight surface-to-surface -surface missiles over about 10 minutes starting at 4.45 a.m. in response to the eight missiles fired by the North. An official from South Korea's Defense Ministry confirmed eight Army tactical missile systems had been fired. Thailand court jails six police for life after a suspect murder during investigation. A Thailand court jailed six police officers for life for torturing and killing a drug suspect during interrogation. Among the six was an influential police colonel, Titisan Utanapol 40, famously nicknamed Joe Ferrari, for his collection of luxury sports cars. Court document shows the judge at Bangkok Central Criminal Court for Corruption and Misconduct Cases initially sentenced the six officers to death for coercion, malfeasance, abuse of authority, and death by torture, but commuted that to life imprisonment for their cooperation and attempts to revive the suspect. Jakrit Klandi, the victim's father, told reporters outside the court he satisfies with the police investigation, but he tells local media he feels helpless during the ruling. And his wife cries when Titisan's sentence was reduced. Superintendent Titisan, a police chief in Nakhon Sawan province, was arrested with the other six officers in August when an interrogation video went viral showing the victim with plastic bags over his head, suffocating while pinned down on the floor. South Korea says North Korea's missiles and nuclear arms are a threat to world peace. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol says North Korea's missile and nuclear weapons programs have reached a level where they are posed a threat to regional and world peace. Yoon makes the comment at a Memorial Day event a day after North Korea launched a barrage of short-range ballistic missiles in probably its largest single test. North Korea has conducted a flurry of missile launches this year, from hypersonic weapons to the test of its largest intercontinental ballistic missiles for the first time in nearly five years. Washington and Seoul officials also recently warned that North Korea appeared ready to resume nuclear weapon tests for the first time since 2017. Schools in Shanghai reopen after two months of lockdown. Some high school students in Shanghai are allowed to resume school on campus after in-person classes were suspended for almost three months to prevent the spread of COVID-19, with more students returning over the coming weeks. Students bring a negative antigen test, scan a QR code to display COVID-19 test results, and pass through a thermal detector before gaining entrance and seeing their classmates again. China's biggest city and business hub lifted lockdowns for most of its 25 million residents and citizens are required to have proof they have taken a COVID-19 test within the last 72 hours in order to enter areas like malls and offices. Local government data shows Shanghai reported four new local symptomatic cases compared with a six-day earlier and four new local asymptomatic cases versus 16 the previous day. Well, thank you for watching. We will see you again soon with the latest updated of ASEAN News. Stay safe, stay healthy and have a great day.